Yeah, thanks very much uh, for asking me up here. And uh, this, this whole dinner came, it was a germ of an idea initially because we felt a little let down that uh, the rugby league, European Rugby League Federation didn't formally have uh, medals and a presentation and so on. And we thought that the players, uh, after all the efforts that they put in, because as, as it said time after time, sort of financial commitment isn't playing for Wales. You've got to play for the pride and passion and, and fight for your country. And we felt it needed to be recognised formally. And uh, I'd just like to thank the governing body for doing that and all the sponsors. So good on you, thank you. <laughs> and that's what we've got. We feel that what we're trying to do is create a professional environment that rewards people, but rewards people in the, the things that make memories rather than the things that go in your bank balance. And I think that's really, really important. And this is a great occasion. I thank Bob for, for his initial idea, the organisation, and Stuart as well from the Village Hotel. It's been a, a real good spread. And I thought the room, as you walked in with the bread of heaven, I thought it was sensational. So thank you very much. <laughs> and it, it is a, it's a recognition of the 2015 sort of campaign. And, uh, you know, the players deserve that because uh, their commitment was, was phenomenal and their performances were as well. And in this room tonight, we ask, we're surrounded by inspiring people, the players, the staff, but, and inspiring memories as well, but, you know, more importantly, I think you've got to acknowledge it. When you, when you sat in a room with, with Billy Boston, when you recall the memories of, of Gus, Gus Risman, you really do feel very humble, and it, it's an absolute privilege to be in amongst you recognising your feet, so it's been a special, special night. And, and there's, there's a lady as well who, I, I mean, out of tragedy comes good, and uh, I think this, this lady is uh, absolutely, she stands for everything that rugby league stands for, and uh, when you get knocked down, when your heart trips out, you can rebuild and you can do good, and you can progress for the future. I think Lizzie Jones, I think she's been absolutely impeccable since those sad events last year. So, well done. <laughs> At this point, I'm going to, you know, be a bit self-indulgent and then say why I was so highly motivated to, to try and get this position and, and, and make a success of it. And uh, it goes back to my youth and watching you know, they were called the Rugby Union on TV and you saw people like Phil Bennett and Barry John who were absolutely sensational, skilled rugby players. J.P.R. Williams with his finishing skills. Gareth Edwards who could run a game so well. And you admired the Welsh for that. You know, England was the more senior, wealthy nation. But the Welsh people always stood up and really worked hard and played with a passion and a pride. And then as I was involved in Great Britain, and I was fortunate enough to, to coach people like Jonathan Davis, John Deverell, Alan Bateman and Kevin Ellis. And that just further reinforced the fact that it's a real, real special nation. And then working with England in the 95 World Cup, one of my roles was to go and look at the opposition. And I had to travel down to Betchfield in Swansea and watch a Wales game. I think it's one of the most brutal games I've ever seen. And I just sat in awe at the commitment of the Warriors that they were playing against a South Sea Island team and winning it and qualifying for the semi-finals. And in those semi-finals, I was on the England bench. But England were really lucky because imagine if I would try, I wouldn't have been given now under the video ref, that they got to the final. But it was such a committed performance from the Wales Rugby League team. Then to 2000, and I was fortunate enough to be the head coach of England, and England reached the semi-final, but Wales did as well. And they were playing the mighty Australia, and Lee Breers inspired them almost to provide what would have been, I feel, the biggest upset in, in rugby league history. But again, it was testament to the character, the commitment of the Welsh nation. And that's really what struck me. Welsh people are full of passion, they're full of pride and they're willing to do battle in any circumstances. And that's bound to attract.
attract anybody who's competitive or wants to be in and amongst a group of people. That would attract anyone. And when I was offered the job, I was absolutely delighted to take it on. And then you, t you go then to 2014. And yeah, we were down to the bare bones. But some lads there stood up. They, they came here, they represented themselves, the family, and the country in such a good manner. And they set the culture and the standards in off-field behaviour and on-field commitment. And then you added the bit of quality, the bit of experience from, for, for 2015. And from that, we went from zero wins in a three-game competition to three from three and the champions. And you know then that you're involved in something very, very, very special. And the players who are here tonight and who represented the, the country did a very, very special job as well. But believe you me, the sponsors, the supporters, the players who play for Wales, anybody involved, the best is yet to go. Because we've got to qualify against Serbia and go over to Italy. And we're not bothered who they bring over, mini cello, they can have all the like. But we'll go over there and we'll spank the backside because we all won. And when we've done that, It'll be qualification for 2017, and that's when the real fun starts. And you can see in these young men, we've got a special group, and it can be a group that's even better the more that we work with each other and form that camaraderie that's so, so special. So I'm really delighted to be part of this special Wales Rugby League nation. So sponsors, anybody, supporters, join us on that journey, because believe you me, 2017 will be worth it. Thank you. I'm ready to put my boots back on after that. <laughs> I'm very inspired. Fantastic. We'd now like to do the medal presentation for the players. And I'd like to ask Lizzie Jones to go, come up. In fact, just there so you can present the medals. And John's right, we do have a fantastic list of partners. And they're up on the board at the moment. Now onto the players. This is in squad number for the European Champions from 2015. Number one, Elliot Keir. Number two, Reese Williams. If you'd like to come up on the stage after receiving your medal, that'd be fantastic. Number three, Rob. Number three, Michael Channing. Number four, Christian Roberts. Number five, Jolton Brown. Domestic number six, in memory of Danny Jones, and number six will be back again in 2016. Number seven, we'll come on to Ollie, who's over in Australia, we'll do that afterwards. Number eight, Morgan Evans. Number nine, James Gurchins. Number ten, our captain, Craig Copter. Number eleven, Rod Lloyd. Number 12, Robin Knowles. <laughs> 13, Phil Joseph. <laughs> 14, Lewis Reese. <laughs> 15, Dan Fleming. <laughs> 
16, Ricky Hoff. 17, Hank Rock. 18, Steve Parry. 19, Connor Farrell. 20, Joe Burke. 21, Matty Barrett. 22, Megan Grace. 23, Rob Masson. 24, Carly Davis. 25, and finally, Jamie Murphy. A real special group of players. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, Lizzie. Just step back up one minute. <laughs> Ollie Olds can't make it this evening. He's over in Australia. But his granddad's travelled up from Bridge End. Could I ask Eddie Jones to step up and receive the medal off Lizzie Jones? Thank you. Right, guys, if you can just uh, nip down, thank you very much. Well done. Right, there is one, uh, one further award, uh, it's for the outstanding player of the, of the competition uh, that was selected by the coaching staff. Uh, my belief, my philosophy with coaches is that the group's always greater than the some other parts and uh, the group dynamic of this, this set of players is very, very special indeed and that's what allowed them to achieve what I think was only the players and the staff felt they could achieve. In, in becoming European champions. But we do have some very good parts, some very good individuals. Uh, the back three that we've got, Elliot Keir, Reese Williams and Donald Grant, are absolutely phenomenal. They make yards, they're defensively sound, they're great under the high ball. We've got centres, Christian Royce and Michael Channing, who added a dimension to us this year, attacking threat, but solid defensively. And you could have said we're a little short at the half back because we've got two real young kids who had to play there but they did a great job there Courtney Davis and, and Ollie Owls and they ran the team as we wanted them to be and that bit of experience, that bit of quality came in as well with more senior players from Super League with Craig Kopchak who captained the team impeccably and Phil Joseph who contributed greatly Ant Walker came in as with Super League standard play and then Joe Burke gets better and better game by game and season by season. And I think Morgan Evans is a really exciting talent again who can progress to greater things. And Matty Barrett, I'm certainly contributing in the first game and he would have had a good season. And how brave is that kid to come back? I'm sure he will come back from the injuries that he's received and he contributed to that. The second role with Rodri Lloyd, with Lewis Reese and Morgan Knowles. Morgan's really exciting to anybody who watches Super League and St. Helens. And Rodri and Lewis did an outstanding job on, on those edges. And Steve Parry, Connor Fanner were great in the hooking position. But then we've got youngsters like Regan Gase. And there's other real quality youngsters coming through, which are as well for the future, who contributed massively. And even the squad members, such as Rob Masson, Jamie Murphy, and James Gurchins, who didn't play, but they were really supportive of the people who were taking the field of play. And it was that unity that allowed them to achieve so, so much. But obviously we had to pick out one person who we felt was vastly influential, whose performance level was superb throughout, and who was outstandingly consistent. And it's the first time ever we've had this, and hopefully this is going to be an annual thing, so the first ever winner of the outstanding player of the 2015 season for Wales Rugby League is the captain, Craig Cox.
I'm not really big for speeches, but uh, yeah, uh, what a fantastic uh, achievement for Wales. Um, very, very privileged uh, to be playing for Wales and representing the country. And a uh, fantastic tournament, and yeah, just a real honour to win something like this. And uh, I'll make it continue. And uh, just a massive thank you for uh, everything, John, backroom staff, and the players. We're just getting stronger and stronger. Uh, I'm sure there's bigger, bigger things to come. Thank you.